Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my May Baxi Charm unboxing. Ooh, I'm so excited, especially with the products that I sneak peeked. <sighs> so freaking pumped. So let's get right into this. Let's try these products on and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. Do you ever have those days where you feel like you didn't wash all of the shampoo and conditioner out of your hair? So it kind of feels like sticky and gross. Yeah, that's me right now. I do take a peek inside the box prior to this video just so I know what I'm applying on my face. The first product that I see is this Cover FX Blurring Primer. I'm so pumped to try this out. A lot of products from Cover FX through Boxy Charm have been illuminating stuff, so I'm really happy they uh, sent something that I can get some use out of. Instantly minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth, flawless, airbrushed look. And this retails for $38. Oh, by the way, uh, the theme for this month is Boxy Bash. I think it's Boxy Charm's birthday. Not really sure. And this is like a nude toned primer. So it kind of reminds me of the Benefit Professional just by the color of it. And doesn't really have a scent. Ooh, it feels just like the Benefit one. Very excited. Wow, this feels so good. It has more of that velvety texture. It's not so much like a slippery silicone feel. Oh, I love this. Next in the box is these brushes. So this is the Aesthetica. P12 face brush. Looks like this. Mine's a little crooked. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, it feels really soft, but it does have like longer bristles, so I feel like it will blend really nicely. This retails for $27. This one brush. $27. I might as well just show you the other brush set that came. It is the Aesthetica 3 Piece Eye Trio. And these three brushes girl. These retail for $45. $45. I've never even heard of this brand before, honestly. Just being honest. They're all individually wrapped, which is kind of nice. Cute little tiny eyeliner brush. It's a little thick for an eyeliner. An angled brush. This is a little thicker as well. Compare it to another angled brush. Like, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's just a little, yeah. See how it's thicker? So they're both angled. And then there's just a spoolie. <laughs> so now I'm going to apply foundation over that primer, and then I'll do the rest of my face off camera, and then we'll get to the rest of the products. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Matte and the Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is a little bit too dark for me, and this one's a little bit too light. So we're going to mix them, make a cocktail, and hopefully it will make my shade. <laughs> Right off the bat, my skin looks really smooth, really airbrushed. I really like how it looks. The primer is definitely a good one. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my face off camera, and then we'll move on to the products that are in the box. So this is the Pure Sculptor Palette, and I'm assuming these are two highlighters and two contour shades. Those are definitely not bronzers, because at least... Yeah, I don't think those are bronzers. And this retails for $30. So yeah, two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades. So we're going to go in with the lighter shade. And this is the shade Inventor right here to contour. And I'm going to use the Aesthetica brush that also came in the BoxyCharm. So I'm going to... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> I got really confused. I would look at it and I was like, wait, this isn't lighter. But we're going to dip into this one. Ooh, this picked up a lot of product. All right. This palette smells really good. I actually really like that shade to contour. I think it looks really pretty. 
might have gone in with a little bit of a heavy hand with this brush just because it picks up a lot of product at once but I actually really like that. So just for blush today, I'm going to go in with a Too Faced one. And this is in the shade Love Hangover. If I can freaking open it with these crazy nails. Just a cute pink blush. I'm going to just dust this off. And use this for my blush as well. Yeah, this brush picks up a lot of product at once. So just be careful. Oh, I forgot to apply bronzer. Alright, so now we're going to go in with blush. Oh my goodness. Same one. We're looking real cute. And then for highlighter, we're going to use the Pure Palette as well. Um, I actually really like these both. And I'm just going to use... Uh, where's my... Where are you, Anastasia A23? Let's go in with the deeper one first. I just want to see if it will work. Alright, brush is definitely coated. I'm going to grab just Mario Badescu and spray my face with this. See if that makes it just a little bit more smooth looking. Now that our face is a little bit wet, we're going to try this now. Oh yeah. That kind of looks like a stripe, but we'll blend it out. It definitely needs something to stick to. If you go right on top of your powders with this highlighter, it's just not going to look as, like, pretty. And the next thing in the box is this Pretty Vulgar, the Ink Gel Eyeliner. Such a cute little package. Oh, my goodness. Like, that's so cute. Like, that would look so cute just chilling back here. Eh... Uh, Maybe not. <laughs> We're going to try this with one of the Aesthetica brushes. This is the eyeliner one, like the smaller one. And then we'll try it with this one. I'm really scared because I don't really wear eyeliner anymore. I'm not the best at it, but we're going to test it out. See if this eyeliner is really creamy, really pigmented. So it says it's a quick drying formula. So... And it says that it will stay in place all day, so that's really good. And this retails for $24. This is definitely really creamy and glides on really easily. Wow, pretty impressed. I don't wear eyeliner on the top like this without falsies, so we might have to apply falsies because I feel like this is going to look weird. Now I'm going to go in with the angled brush and see how this applies the eyeliner. Uh, yeah, no. I don't know. These brushes are alright. I definitely don't like the angled one, but this little skinny one is doable. And this spoolie is just a spoolie. The last thing in the box is actually a lip product. This is the Beauty Creations and BoxyCharm collab, I'm assuming, because BoxyCharm's name is at the top. And this is their Liquid Matte Gloss. Yeah, liquid matte lip gloss. Yeah, woo! My applicator is definitely a little bit crooked. But this is only $10, so I mean, I guess it's not that bad. A full coverage formula that dries to a seamless, smooth, and matte finish. It's lightweight and long wearing. So I am back. This is what the lip looks like. I think it's really, really cute. I'm not a huge fan of lip colors like this. Like, I usually never wear lip colors like this, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of digging it, you know? I think it looks really cute. But um, it's not really sticky anymore. Feels really comfortable. Feels really lightweight. Just feels really good on the lips. And it's very opaque. Like, this is a full coverage lippy, girl. Completely matte. It was a little bit sticky in the beginning, but if you just let it take its time. So this month's box adds up to a total of $174. Girl. Those are all the products. I really like every single thing. I'm really impressed with this month's box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it to be notified every time I upload. I upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays 
for the most part. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. When will I learn? I'll push it down.